Good evening, everyone. I'm Sister Gloria, and today we're going to talk about wanting answers to our life journey. Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you, God, for allowing us another chance, Lord, another chance to come into your presence. Father, we ask you, Lord, to forgive us, Lord, of all of our sins. And Lord, help us, Lord, to run this race and not look back. But Lord, that we keep our minds stayed on you and we continue to press toward the mark of the high calling. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I don't know, somebody might be like me. You just want answers. And sometimes you have dreams and you have visions and you, you just want to know what it means. And you want to call people and you want, you want the answer. You, you want the answer. But you know what? It's all right not to know the answer. Just to keep on uh, going forward. Just keep moving toward that thing that you, you don't even know where you're going, but you know you're saved. You know you, you're doing what you're supposed to do for the Lord, but you just don't know exactly where you're going. You know, sometimes we just want to know. We want to know everything. We want to know, Lord, where I'm going. Lord, who I, who I'm supposed to talk to tomorrow. You might not even know who you're supposed to witness to, to uh, on tomorrow or maybe this evening, but just keep moving. You know, just keep going, and that's like uh, walking by faith, just like trusting God, even though I don't know my next step. It's all right not to know the next step. Just keep moving. Just keep moving for God and allow the Holy Spirit, our guide, our lead, our friend, to lead and guide us. And you know what? You will know. You will know this is the way I'm supposed to go. And then... When you don't have a peace about a, a thing, that's another sign, I believe, in my life. When I don't have a peace about something, that's a sign. Okay, maybe you need to uh, recalculate this thing. Uh, Lord, Lord, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I need some help. And you know what? That's what he's there for. Holy Spirit, he's our helper. That's what he's there to help us. And I'm so glad about it because he will, he, he will lead and guide us if we listen. And sometimes you, we can't hear, we can't hear the Holy Spirit because there's so much going on. You know, so many people uh, pulling at you. You might have uh, the phone ringing over here, uh, um, somebody knocking at the door, something that you need to do. And it just, it just come across your mind. But God said to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You know, we got to do the things of God first. And then all these things will be added unto us. And we don't have to worry about what tomorrow is going to hold. Because the Lord told us, he told us, don't worry. Don't worry about tomorrow. Because tomorrow will take care of itself. He told us to cast all our cares on him. He, he supplies our daily bread. He makes sure we got what we need for today. And don't, so he said, don't worry about tomorrow because I got tomorrow. And the next day and the next day, God just want us to trust him. He just want us to move by the spirit, not by our flesh. Because see, our flesh will take us exactly where we want to go. We'll be doing exactly what we want to do. But sometimes, like I said earlier, we have to recalculate that thing and say, and, and, and just slow down and say, Lord, Lord, I, uh, Holy Spirit, I need some help. Will you help me? Y'all, he will help you. I, I'm a witness. I know. He'll bring you peace. You'll have a peace about what you're supposed to be doing. Y'all, we serve a mighty God, a God that's long-suffering. He's faithful toward us. Always in our corner. Always got his arms open, stretched wide for us. Even in our disobedience, he still wants us. 
So don't never let nobody make you think God don't want you even after you mess up. Because, you know, sometime in our lives, we do want to please the Lord. You know, we don't want to keep doing the same things over and over and over. Because the word of God says that every time we do the same thing over and over, we crucify our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We put him back on the cross. And we don't want to put him back on the cross. He he already died for our sins. Um, You know, it, it says my heart because... I don't do everything right. I ain't perfect. But see, it's a difference in practicing sin. You know you're going to go and do whatever your sin is. Because you know what? Ain't nobody got to call your sin out. And sometimes we might do need to. But we know when we're doing things that are not pleasing in the sight of God. And we want to please Him. We want Him to be glorified. We want to, we want to represent the Lord, you know, with our whole hearts, we 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 want people to see uh, integrity because um, the world watches us when we say we Christians. They watch every little thing we do, so we have to walk that straight and narrow path. So somebody will want to get saved, y'all. Let me tell you something. If you are not a Christian today, I want you to know that all Christians don't live in the world. You know, they one foot in the world and one foot in church. There's some people out here that's living holy for God. There's some people out here that can uh, speak a word into your life and, 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 and you'll be blessed. So don't think that all Christians are the same because we are not. But some people do. They do fall short of the glory of God. We all fall short of the glory of God. But guess what? The Lord said we could get back up. So if you fall, get back up. Don't stay there. Get back up and fight. And you don't fight with no physical weapons. You fight with the word of God. That's, that's why we have to read our word. We have to study, fast, and pray. So, so the word will be in us. And so whatever we need is already in us. If we need a word from God because we have been in our word, we can, we can get what we need because we already got it. Praise God. So I say to you, be encouraged. Keep your head up and, and trust God. Lean on him. Don't lean on man. You know what? I thank God for leaders because we got some good leaders out here that are really concerned for the people of God. But let me tell you, they are human too. And, and, and when you got a congregation, I don't care if it ain't but five or ten people, and, and you got those people calling you, you know, and, and they need help. You know, uh, leaders are, are good people because we got some good godly leaders in the earth. But y'all, don't forget, we can go to God for ourselves too. We need them now. I ain't saying we don't need our leaders. Lord knows we need them because they pray for us. So um, what I'm saying is go to God for yourself. You can go to God for yourself. It's all right to depend on people when you first get saved. But if you've been saved for a little while, it's good to be able to go to the Lord. You can go. I just want you to know you can go to God for yourself. You can go and you can, just like me and you talking, we can have a conversation with God. You talk and then we have to be quiet so we can hear him talk. Sometimes we wonder why, but Lord, I just went to sleep. And you wake up, it's, uh, you look at the clock, 2.41. I said, dog, I just laid down. But guess what? The Lord, he woke us up because he wants us to pray for somebody. He wants us to intercede on, on behalf of somebody's soul, on behalf of somebody's healing, on behalf of somebody's deliverance. That's why he wakes us up. So we can pray for somebody. Because people are in trouble. Some people out here, they think it ain't no more hope. But you know what? When we got Jesus Christ in our life, we, we can bring somebody hope by talking about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the true and living God, the only God. Y'all, trust God. And when I say it to y'all, I'm saying it to myself. I need to trust him too. Because sometimes you just know, you be like, I don't, I don't even see how this going to happen. You know, but hey, God got all kinds of ways. He's the true and living God. As I said, he makes impossibilities possible. Right now, I want to pray for somebody you're seeking for a job. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I, I, I just thank you, God, for blessing this person. I don't know who you are. You might not um, understand right now what's going on in your life. But, Lord, we pray for this person, Lord, whoever they may be. Lord, we pray, God, that you will open a door, God, that you will favor them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, God, I thank you, Lord, that they will have the faith to believe, God, that you can bless them with that job. And, Lord, we pray for those that are seeking for housing. Lord, we ask you to open the door, Lord, and make the way, God. Lord, Whatever they need, God, the monies, Lord God, we thank you that it's already done in the name of Jesus. We thank you for those that are in need of uh, daycare. Thank you, Lord God, for, 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 for them being able to place their children somewhere where they're safe. Somewhere, Lord, where they will have peace of mind when they leave their children with people. We pray, God, for children that are disobedient. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, that you will convict them in the name of Jesus. Lord, that they will recognize that their mom and dad loves them and they want the best for them. I say to you, give your child to the Lord. Take them to church. Teach them the things of God. Cut the TV off sometime. Y'all get in, get in the kitchen, get in the living room and sit, sit around and, and talk about the goodness of the Lord. Talk about what you're grateful for, you know, for this day. Thank you, Jesus. God is so good, y'all. We we are so blessed. We are so blessed to be able to, to suck up some air. Because cause God don't give us our next breath. We ain't breathing. That means we out of here. We got so much to be thankful for. Just thank God. You might look around and say, I ain't got nowhere to live. I ain't got no car. I ain't got this. I ain't got that. But you're saying it, but you're using the breath of the living God. He allowed you to breathe. Heavenly Father, thank you, God, for this hour, God, of encouragement. I pray that I have encouraged somebody that someone can just go on a little further and just keep moving and just keep moving, taking one day at a time, one step at a time. That's all we could do. That's all I have, y'all. Y'all be blessed. I pray that you have a great week. Uh, uh, y'all pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray for you go out the house in the morning. Pray for you go to work. Pray before you send your children off to school. When they get ready to go and stand out there on that bus stop, y'all pray over y'all children. Okay, that's all I have. Y'all have a great day. I'll talk to y'all later.